Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sun and Craft with CWD. Uh, this is Charlie and uh, it's really kind of nice to get back to uh, crafting again. Um, I have been in uh, California, uh, that's the main reason I have not done any videos. Um, buying laces and of course, you know, it takes a while to get it all together, to, you know, um, measure them, price them, all of that kind of stuff. So, because uh, I don't trust when they tell me there's X amount of yardage in there, uh -uh. sometimes they're not enough, you know, so uh, I like to make sure that everything is measured and priced and put in pictures and it should be at the store pretty soon, okay? Um, and I will do a video when it's in the store, so I'll let you know they're there. Right now, I'm gonna work in a little house. I know some of you are getting really anxious about finishing this little house, but as I said to be, from the very beginning, uh, we I'm doing little tidbits because that's the only way I can do this. Um, there's just so much little stuff, but I promise you, you're gonna be finished before way before Christmas. Um, I want to show you what I've done, and I have been working on the kitchen. I'll have a video on the, on the latest on the kitchen, cabinet and everything, okay? But I wanted to, uh, for those that are anxious to finish, uh, let me give you a little bit of uh, what we're going to do. I cut out two more walls, so I can put one in here, and one at the very end, okay? And then that way we got it all you know, that, that was, that's pretty much going to take care of it. Now, it may not look as big as, it looks actually smaller than what it's, you know, the opening is what it really is. But, um, like I said, we'll work with it. And uh, when it's get it done, once it's done, it's going to be just fine. Um, so, you need to cut two more 10 by 10s, you know, and crisscross them and glue them really good, okay? Uh, once you get that done, then what I did is, uh, again, I put it in here. See, right in here. And I put my wall as it should go. Put it first of the very line inside into the hole. And once I got that nice and straight, I came back out. I know I have a pen here somewhere because I just used it, right? Hold it. Oh, here it is. Okay. I put it right in here, right against the uh, the edge of the uh, this edge that is the hole, okay, when we measure it. And then I, I went back and put that right at the edge of it on the inside. And once I got it nice and straight, because I got to get bent over, you know, to kind of look, then I made myself a nice little line in the back. And this is the line that I did, okay? Once I did that, I put little dots. This is where we're gonna put the um, uh, the toothpicks and make the holes so that will, everything will fit as we did this wall in here and also this wall in here, okay? So we already have a video how to do this, but I just wanna make sure that you do that in here. And I did the same thing in the very end. Let's see if I can get you right here, okay? And I did also the... What I did, I put it at the edge and I came in, you know, whatever I needed. And so, uh, and I did a line on it. Then I did my little dots where I'm gonna place my um, toothpicks and it's ready to go when I gotta get ready, okay? Now, the next thing I done is I went and did an opening for the door, for the front door, okay? And that opening is uh, let's see, it's three inches wide, I do believe, but I'll tell you one thing, I'll check it out again just in case. I don't know what's about making that little dollhouse. It gets, I can start really neat and it gets chaos right away, but hey, it is what it is, isn't it? Yes. The door is three inches wide by six and a half inches long. And it's, I just center it, okay? So whatever you do, uh, I believe it's about an inch. Let's see, an inch. Yeah, it's about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half uh, from the wall, okay? 
Um, and then I did what I, I just went with my scepter knife. I scored it in here and down both ways once I made my lines. And it's ready to go. See? Now, the only thing this we're going to use this is the door. So leave it in there for right now because we're not ready to do that yet. Okay, we got some work to do in the inside the hall part area. Okay, but that's what I did. On the side that I'm going to do the dining room, I went and drew my window, which is from the from the ceiling, from the very edge on the top, is two inches, and then I start. I, I, I what I did is center my window between the walls. Okay. And this window is three and a fourth by four inches. Okay? And you square it out. And again, you will go ahead and use your scepter knife and uh, cut it off. I did three sides. And I'll be happy to do the fourth one for you. Okay? I already did this one, this one, and this one. I already cut it off once I got it done. And I'm going to do this one. I scored it first. Nice and score it. And then I'm gonna stick my little knife right in. Like I said, this little knife works for me. I don't know why, you know, and it, it is it's thin enough that you can just slip it on there. And if you have a score, it's not gonna be no problem. And remember, we're gonna put some, uh, some trim, molding and stuff, you know, once we get it, you know, finished. Whoops, there it goes. <laughs> and here it is, the window, okay? Now, we will be throwing this away eventually, but I wanted to um, show you, you know, what I've done to it. Um, and I also have my measurements and metric system for my Spanish video, okay? For this, then this one here, one of them, doesn't matter. I'm going to make another archway opening for the uh, dining room. And you can measure and do all the things you want to, but you know the second door is so much easier if you just draw it. So let's just draw it, okay? <laughs> I try to make this as easy for you guys as I can, and, and I think this is be very easy. So once you get it nice and in there, okay, I'm just going to Let's see. That's pretty darn good. Okay, so see what I did? So the next thing I will do is core it and then cut it the same way we did the first one or, or any other door. Okay? With my little knife or you can do it with a scepter knife. Either way, it, it works just fine. Like I said, I like to work with my little knife and so I do it. But you don't have to. If you have a scepter knife, it's just perfectly fine. Okay? Or anything else that you are comfortable with. So this is how I did it. The only thing I'm going to do probably is just, you know, make sure it's even. You know, because when you do this, sometimes it doesn't come out even. But I'll do that before I cut it. All right? And then I will be able to put this one right here once we do everything we need to do to the walls. Okay? Now... We're going to do now the next thing that I have done to it, and is, let's see what I do with it, okay. These edges here, you know, they're not very pretty, see? When you look at it, they're not very pretty, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you in this one, right here, what I did on this one. I bought some, um, it looks like a little burlap uh, ribbon. Walmart has it. It's about, no, maybe about three quarters of an inch or maybe five eighths or seven eighths or something like that. But it's perfect. Uh, it gives a pretty little texture when I get it painted or whatever it is that I want to do to it on the top. But it just makes it nice and flat. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing in here and in all of them, you know, on this wall and on the other wall too. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. And I'm using, because I don't want any of the wood uh, wood glue to come in here because my wood glue is yellow. I do believe they make a white one, but I haven't, since I got so much, you know, still, uh, I have, you know, next time I buy, if they have some white one, I will do that because this yellow one has a little tint and it seems to, even after you wipe it off, 
uh, you have to wipe it off right away, otherwise it gives a little, you know, tinge to it, a little yellowy. Not enough to make it, you know, bad, but still. So anyway, so I decided to go to with this tacky glue. It's a clear one, and uh, I like it. So this is what we do with this one. Before I do it, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this nice and because some of this stuff went in and I don't okay. because I, I you know I went over with my tissue but I rather not done that so I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and um, sand it it also gives a nice little tooth to it okay and I hope you can see good because I try to get the camera as close as I could. Now I'm going to go ahead. I should have left it down. <laughs> oh boy. And I hope you're doing really well. I, uh, uh, like I said, I've been in, in California. I'm really excited about the, the laces that I have brought. Uh, both May and I went to California and we had a very good time. Uh, it was wonderful. It was. We found a lot of wonderful stuff, and uh, I can't wait to, uh, like I said, start putting it out there. I noticed she has shown some of them uh, in her video, uh, but no, she does not have all of them. I need to send her her kit. So, uh, okay, see what I did? I put plenty of, plenty of, plenty of, uh, of the glue. And if you had the ridges, you want to bring it to just kind of almost even it out. And that also will strengthen the edges of your, uh, of your wall, okay? Let me get some more in here. There we go. And now, and go ahead and keep this down, the glue, because if you do, you won't have to wait for it to, uh, you know, to work on it. Alrighty, I just cut me a little strip. And what I'm gonna do is come at the edge of, on this side to come at the edge of my kitchen. Right, hold it, hold it. And I'm gonna come down a little bit on both sides. But first I need to do this. And because it's clear, folks, it's gonna be so much better. So much better. You do have to keep on kind of get it in there. See how much nicer that looks, really? And then you, we can paint, we can do whatever you want to do this, okay? All right, I put some on the, on the, on the bottom, right? Now I'm gonna put some on the top. And that's really gonna seal it really, really good. And then with my fingers, I guess, Really, it's the only way you can do this. Not the only way, it's the best way, I think, because uh, you feel it, you know how it's going, no problema. And then when it's good and dry, I will cut that off, the rest of it off, okay? But right now, I just wanna be sure that it comes down. And then in here, I'm gonna do the same. It is just a little bit, and the reason I want that little bit in there because when this is on the baseboard, you know, we won't have any little things in here to be cut off or anything. And you don't have any freights or anything like that, you know, in it. And I think it will be better. It'll stay better too. So here we go on this side. Get me a little wipey. It is a messy job, I have to say that, okay? But it's a fun messy job. Okay, so this one is in there. I think it's gonna be fine. And then I'm gonna come back and do this side here. And at this one, you can tell the ridge really good, see? Okay, and you want to put quite a bit in here. And make sure, and you keep on rubbing it and bringing it in because it wants to come out. So don't let it do that. 
You the boss. <laughs> right? And I put plenty so in case it goes down, it gives me plenty of time to work on it. There we go. See? This is going to be under anyway. But that way, this part of it here is going to be nice and smooth. And you don't have freight some all kinds of stuff coming out. So this is why I figured out this will be the best thing to do. Come on, baby. There we go. So I just want to show you what I've done because it's just, it's going to be so much better. We're still going to finish a little, each little room at a time because like I said, it's so much easier. But at least this way, you know, you got that in there and it's going to be all right. I'm a little horse uh, today, so I hope you can understand me okay. Um, if not, you know, you can ask. You can always uh, send me a message or give me a comment and I'll get back with you if you have not, you know, have a problem with something. And you know, I'm good about that. So, you know, as far as being understanding. <laughs> okay, this in here. Alrighty, let's see, I think, hopefully, I can get it in there and, okay. Now, here's the fun. Believe it or not, I done some stucco. I don't know if you can tell what I done. I done part of it in here. I'm gonna finish that off, and then we'll go to the other side, okay? And for that, I'm using this modeling paste, okay? It's a deco art media, and it's a modeling paste. It's great, and of course, my little trout uh, I got several of them, but this one seems to work pretty good. So, uh, I'm just going to do the stock of like, you know, a, it's kind of European thing. Most, uh, especially the Fran France, Italy, and Spain, and Spain, they do a lot in their homes. So, uh, and this is how I'm going to do it. Like I said, I've done some of it. Oh, first, I did a little stock right at the edge of the, uh, to seal nice the wall. See? Can you tell? There we go. Let me take this door. Maybe you can get to see it a little better with the. So I came back here and seal it. That way we don't have a seam, okay? And then very careful. You know, you can do one way or the other or the other way with your little trout. And it really does make nice even walls. See? Now we're gonna paint this. But, and you need to really let it dry 24 hours, okay? And then once you do that, and sometimes I may go over a little bit, if I, especially if I'm really close, but you just kind of, uh, you know, uh, just, just play with it. Just make a texture. I done that in my house in big walls, and it goes fairly fast with my bigger trout, and it, it, it works just fine. It's not really hard at all to do this. It's just, it's just taking your time. And, and like I said, really, most of the time, there we go, goes pretty fast. Oh, I meant to tell you, around here on the door, I did the same thing. And it really made it nice and finished, okay? So the, the thing that I'm going to do is probably put some trout over it. I mean, some of the modeling paste right on it. And that way, uh, it'd be nice and smooth. You can sand it off. And then, of course, just painted it. So that's what I did to mine. And then the side of the kitchen, uh, I may do like a little mold. See, I'll probably do a little molding, you know, go around it. And, I, and I'll, I'll show you, how, you know, when I do that. Let's don't get us ourselves way ahead of ourselves, right? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is basically I want really smooth around the doors. 
because Oh, and I'll use my fingers again because I do want to have nice and smooth in, in that area. On this side of the wall, I'm going to paint it. I'm not going to frame it. On the kitchen, I will. And I wanted to show you this because I thought, I know, like I said, that way you know what you want to do. But I still find it very, very easy if... And then sometimes I go like this and smooth it out and see, and I'll do that. Can you see it? It's hard to tell, in it? In other words, I'll go like this, make a little fussy thingies. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. And then barely touching it, just barely doing it, you get that nice, you know, uh, look of a uh, stucco. Again in here, because I want this door, this uh, wall to be all nice and even. I don't want to, so just put as many as you, you know, as much as you can. Then make sure the very top does not have any, because we have to put the, the you know, the tops, uh, the, the top floor over it, and I want it as smooth as I can, okay? Okay, there we go. Also, if you do not have, which I look like I'm about to be finished with it and I'm going to do it myself, you might want to get your chalk paint and to make it thicker, you can get um, that, um, oh, what is it? Anyway, uh, you can also use, what I'm going to use is talcum powder uh, to make my paste, my uh, my chalk paint thicker and I can use and do that what I'm doing right now uh, it, that is if you don't have a place available you know where you can to get this it will be a great great way to do it okay now here and then once it's dried if I feel like it has a little area I need to put a little bit more without do that Is that better? I think so. If I put the lights this way. See, I put plenty around the edges right here. So I want it nice and smooth, okay? Okay. Let me put some in here too, because I put some in there. And I think this is my uh, my third coat because the car the cardboard really make uh, absorbs a lot of the moisture right away. So I had to get one done to do the other one, and then of course I have done uh, the third one mainly to show you. And I'm just gonna go back in there and just kind of do a little bit here and there. But at least two, okay? You need at least two. Um, now, if you do your home, you don't need to, but in this thing, you do. But hey, it's a little wall, right? <laughs> and you know, you do it, and you can kind of tell the texture you want. So, that way... And of course, whenever it's all done, then you paint it, you know, you call the color that you want. I haven't decided uh, what color I'm gonna paint it. I have so much paint that, uh, heck, I may do each, each room, you know, uh, a different color. That'd be kind of, kind of fun. Why not? I don't know if you can tell, but see how nice it is, the texture on it? And of course, by doing it with a small trout, you get small little areas, you know, and then just kind of like that. And it's just easy. Now, for those that wants to do 
uh, the wallpaper, by all means, do so, or fabric, whatever it is that you want to do, you know, and you are welcome to do whatever you want to. But I wanted to do this one with a stucco. Since I'm doing a Spanish, you know, country home, I wanted to really make it as authentic as I possibly can. Okay. Now, because we are working toward the end, well, you know, toward the uh, left wall, I'm going to put the stucco only inside the inside line up to, excuse me, whoops, up to the inside line. Not this one, this one. That way it won't interfere with me when I put my wall, I'll have plenty of room in there, okay? So, but the nice thing about it is that once I cut my, um, my door, I can do all my stucco, everything in there before I actually put it together and then put it together. It's so much easier than try to go this way when you can do it flat, okay? So uh, in the living room, or in the dining room, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. Uh, maybe something else, I don't know. Just to get something more fun in it. Just to give you options to do it. Let me put it that way, okay? So we'll see. But uh, I will do the stucco on this wall for sure. I will also put the, um, around the inside of the, uh, oops, let's see. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, inside the um, the door area, you know, this inside here like I did here. Uh, I will put also that uh, jute ribbon, uh, that way, uh, or burlap ribbon, whatever you want to call it, and uh, to finish up my door also, okay? So I just thought I'd let you know that's what I'm going to do. And like I said, this is going to be really fast uh, if we're doing it this way. But the kitchen, really, you have to do that because, you know, it's hard to work on it with the sink and everything when it's all put together. Um, especially when you're first making the counter and everything to paint it, to all of that kind of stuff. So uh, that's why. Alrighty, uh, I've done this one here, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of, on this side because I want to leave some from other people. See? I try to come in right, right there, see? I just wanna make sure that I stay right on the line, not any farther than that. And when I'm done with this side, and of course this other one, and I have it together, I'll go back and do the corner like I did on this side. So be nice and smooth, okay? So you don't see any seams and everything looks nice. Nice and tidy. Uh, when I do the uh, powder, the talcum powder with the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the chalk paint, I uh, will let you know what I've done, how much I put in there and everything. And that will probably be our next video. Because like I say, I have very little in here. I don't have a lot to work with. Again, around the doors, this one also you're gonna put that uh, burlap ribbon, okay? And when you get over here, on the door, right over here, don't put too much, about half an inch of it because you're gonna put some molding on it. So try to make it smoother as you can. Uh, but put some in there and then do all the other all stuff, you know, the texturizing above that, okay? And like I say, I do one, one coat let it good and dry, and then come back and, you know, give it another coat. Uh, I think it, it does better, it stays better, and it looks better. Okay? And so I'll continue doing it in here. And really, basically, like I said, you don't want to do it about a half an inch, right? This little bit of it. We're going to put some nice looking um, molding in it. And I want to be sure that everything looks great and, and I'll be able to glue as smooth as possible to the, um, to the wall, okay? Alrighty, folks, this is what I've done so far. 
I will do the rest of it and I'll tell you what I have done even though I already told you again uh, already uh, I will show you what I done on my next wall and uh, in the end wall also and what I have done in the living room area this is just like I said fun fun stuff once we get this done we get the sink on here then we will put it on our baseboard and then we'll work on the second floor when we're done the second floor then uh, we'll put all both two floors together and like I said it's not gonna be that much of a you know it's not gonna take that much time the time is gonna take and on the on the, the little details that we're going to do and we're gonna put lights in this little uh, but I, I'm gonna use some really neat little lights and I think you've seen them uh, making them in a certain way but we will have lights in this building so I think it's gonna be awesome so until next time uh, we'll see you in a little while bye bye